Jesus, I believe. When we wrote the song, Jesus, I Believe, it was in a season where when we were ministering each night at the shows, we would be praying over people and who were going through like really crazy and maybe for, for a lot of people, like really disastrous kind of situations. We're standing in a place of belief for these other people. Um, and then, you know, this last year, you went through, I mean, one of the roughest times in your life. Sure. Uh, you know, due to some infection in his legs, uh, had to have both feet amputated. We were within about, you know, 24, 48 hours of, of losing. No return, him. yeah. Yeah. And so, instead of standing there with somebody else, saying, Jesus, I believe, you know, you're in it. Yep. You're in it. Dude, what was it, what was it like in the middle of that? It's a, it's a fairly lonely bed to lay in. Yeah. Until the Lord is remembered. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know, that's and right. then you realize, I'm laying in this hospital bed technically by myself, but the Lord is the best I know of anybody to come down and get in the middle of our junk with us. Man, and that's so exactly good. what he did. And we felt like we felt him there. Like yeah. he it was literally, he was, was, he was there. The people started praying literally around the world. It's like everywhere we go, we're running into those people. Even, you know, we're talking about even recently, you know, you're going through somewhere and people go like, hey, man, we prayed for you, you know? Yeah. So when we sing this song now, I think it's just, it's taken on a whole, you know, much more personal realm. To find is, is this hope really real? Is, it, is he really enough in it? And the answer is yes. Is more yes. Than, more, more than, than enough. I need to hear you now. I need to know it's you. I'm standing on your promises. I know 